This is the Pyramid of the Moon at Teotihuacan, outside of Mexico City. Precise and intricate, because unlike the Pyramid of the Sun, it remains today almost exactly like it was when it was abandoned in 750 CE. The form we see today is the seventh layer of construction, covering a temple that's older than the Pyramid of the Sun. Aside from minor superficial reconstruction, the white mortar and pebbles in between the cobblestones is most of the extent of the reconstruction by modern archaeologists. The meticulous precision of this pyramid portrays the sophistication of its creators more than any other building in the complex. Originally entirely covered in a plaster that you can see remnants of here at the bottom, the pyramid is now a smooth surface of cobblestones, covering densely packed gravel and fill. As we continue around the southeast corner of the pyramid, we encounter a sign written in Spanish which translates, Since there's a guard on the south side of the pyramid preventing you from getting to the top, be sure to go around to the north side where there is no guard. So as we move around the east side of the pyramid, we move away from the precise geometry of the southern facade, and the surface becomes progressively more rough and uneven as we go. Here at the northeast corner, we can see the rocks protruding from the surface that were probably used to hold the original plaster. And then halfway down the north side, we notice that the smooth exterior cobblestones were either removed or had never been added. The surface appears progressively more rough as we move around the west side of the pyramid, until this point here, where we can see that the seventh and final form of the pyramid had never been completed. This view here is from halfway up the unconstructed west side, where it was clear no one had been interested in ascending in quite a long time. And this is a rare shot from the top of the Pyramid of the Moon, looking south, down along the avenue, and towards the Pyramid of the Sun. Now, back down on the ground on the southwest corner, we see the famous smooth cobblestone finish, and we again see the razor-sharp precision in the corners. Halfway up the south face of the pyramid, I found this inset electrical box that is now basically vandalism. And this one here on the ground level, next to the original plaster from the seventh construction of the pyramid. Aside from paint and plaster, the incomplete seventh expansion of the pyramid done sometime before 750 CE left it looking almost exactly as it does today. From atop the northwest platform in the courtyard, you can see this fenced-in area here with a roof covering the entrance to a tunnel that goes directly under the center of the pyramid. With the tunnel and other excavations done since 1998, Archaeologists have discovered that elaborate burials accompany five of the expansions of the pyramid. Burial 2 consists of one human, bound at the wrists, buried alive. Burial 3 has four people, bound, along with 14 wolf heads and four puma heads. In Burial 4, they found the 17 severed heads of foreign captive enemies. In Burial 5 is found a person of high status, unbound, indicating that they died either previously or willingly. And in Burial 6, 12 people were found, two of them in sophisticated regalia, and 10 people found decapitated and thrown into a pile. So aside from these burials, excavations of the seven phases of construction, and external observations, most of what we know about the Pyramid of the Moon comes from other archaeological sites around the Teotihuacan complex. So in the next video, we're going to continue down the avenue you see before you and examine the Pyramid of the Feathered Serpent.